Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, night before last, we had a lot of rain. Uh, I think we had about two inches. So we weren't able to harvest yesterday, but we've got a farm that we think we'll be able to run at today. That's what happens when you farm beside a gravel pit, I guess. Uh, there's uh, some more rain coming in a couple days, and this corn is starting to not stand so well. So it seems to be a running trend this year. All the corn looks like it's late November instead of early October. So we're going to try to knock it out today. We're going to put wheat planting on hold. Uh, it's too wet anyways, but we still have some work to do on the drill. Uh, I've got to run to the bank right now, and Dad's going to change the fuel filter on his combine. But as soon as I get back, as soon as he gets done with that, we should start uh, knocking some corn acres out. Just driving in town to Cargill to pick up my grain check. The irony is, I'm sitting here waiting on a train. But it's also going to Cargill. George, what happened to showing the leg? It's a little cool today. Yeah, okay. You bust out the long, long johns yet? Nope. Came over to these grain bins to get uh, get something for the other place and uh, noticed some beans on the ground. I guess so whenever I close these bin doors, I forgot to close the inspection door. So, so that door's full of beans. Gotta have found it now before more leaked out. And it hasn't rained yet, so that's good. Get all those beans back, put them in a the bin. Hey guys, Dad and George are about to get started shelling corn. I realized that the auger tractor's out of fuel, so I came over to the barn to fuel it up, put some urea in it, or DEF, or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, should have some trucks rolling in here pretty soon. Yeah, same story, different day. Waiting on the first load. Get some words of wisdom from George for the day. Hold up a good man. Holding up a good man? Yep. Where is he? Sitting in this damn tractor seat. Hit with a corn cob. I mentioned earlier that this, uh, this field is starting to go down. I mean, it is, but one of the main reasons it's starting to go down is this used to be a log yard. Every, uh, oh, probably every 30 or 40 feet, there was a gravel road down in there. We took up all that gravel so we could farm it all as one field, but because of the compaction from it, there's still a uh, Every 30, 40 feet, there's a swath where the corn's going down. It's just starting to get a little worse. We really wanted to get this out here the night that the grain cart hitch came loose. If you haven't seen that, check out harvest video day nine, I think. But obviously the grain cart fell apart, so it's set here. And this is about oh, a week and a half later with the rain delays and switching back to beans and stuff. So that's why we're getting it out now. We got, like I said, we got some more rain coming in, so. Really want to get it out before uh, any winds hit it, that's for sure. Hey guys, while I'm uh, sitting here waiting on the first load of corn to come out of the field, I uh, thought I'd take the time to tell you about our uh, Facebook contest we're having. If you haven't seen it, check us out on Facebook at Brown Farms. We're having a contest to come up with a logo that we're going to put on some t-shirts. Uh, if you have any ideas, submit them to that, uh, that post on Facebook or me uh, message us on that uh, Facebook account. The winner, we're going to give either a hat or a t-shirt or whichever one you prefer. But yeah, check it out on Brown Farms on Facebook. I'm walking out through this field. Uh, just checking to see if I can see any, any evidence of him throwing corn out the back. One thing with corn, you usually see... Uh, it's pretty easy to get that confused with head shatter. Because corn, sometimes whenever it hits, uh, comes down through the corn head... 
kernels of corn just go splattering everywhere. But if I walk in this row, one, one row, still seeing corn on the ground. So to me, that's pretty clear that he is throwing that out the back of the combine. I, uh, I called him to tell him, so he's making some adjustments. See what we see on the next pass. Hopefully he's got that cleaned up some. It is uh, a little wetter corn, so maybe it's just, uh, maybe he can change a few things in the combine settings and not have so much corn coming out the back. Part of that old road I was telling you about. Now this having so many roads through it, the, the corn's not gonna be as good. I mean, there's, when they put those roads in, I mean, they dug the topsoil out, so the ground's pretty streaky, you, as you can imagine. Be interesting to see what this field ends up averaging. Historically, it's usually a little bit less because of that. Just have to see how it all turns out. Walk over here and see what we can find. See if it's any better on this. Throw the corner out. Looks much better now. I mean, I'm seeing maybe just the very small kernels at the tips of an ear. I mean, stuff that you wouldn't expect to go through the combine and probably wouldn't uh, benefit you any if it did. I mean, stuff like uh, stuff like that. I mean, that ain't much. That ain't gonna amount to anything. How'd this get here? Oh yeah, it was on that stock of corn. See if I can't throw this in the header while he's driving by. Well, the combine went a different direction, so I didn't get to throw this in there. So I'm gonna throw it in there. Man's even still in my semi now. Look at that, he's thinking of me. He's even labeling it for me. Well, yeah, George made me a label. Just so you know, George is the kind of guy that his label maker has a label on it. Hey, Dad, you got a copy? Say it's 1197 Pioneer. Okay, what was that other field? 1442, it's a later How you doing, Dax? You riding with Pappy? Hey, hey, hi, hey Bob. I just left this thing recording on the hood of my truck for uh, 15 minutes. Time to climb up and check the bin. Looks like we got about two rings. That ought to be uh, close to 10,000 bushel. Apparently George and Dad have been lollygagging because I don't have to wait on them for this next load, so I'm gonna hop in the car with George for a little bit. You gonna do anything today? I hope not. I'm gonna have to get my stuff out of the wind. 
took this truck to the field, the back door wasn't all the way closed, but on the remote it says it's 100% closed. Sometimes these things get out of whack and you have to calibrate the skin stops on them. So. Got to keep George well fed and hydrated. Didn't want you to wither away nothing. You may be wondering why this farm has uh, two lane blacktop roads through the middle of it. These are our private lanes. These are our, this is our lanes. Uh, at one time this was a commercial property before we bought it. And uh, the, the uh, corporation that owned it had all the roads paved. And I mean they're kind of, they're kind of in bad shape now, but I mean they're definitely better than a gravel lane whenever it's uh, muddy as can be in the fields. So. But that's why there's black top. All right, guys, I kicked George's old butt out of here. to wanted to get back to work. I was still in the gravy job for a little bit. But, uh, Dad, I'm really, he's going home for the night. Uh, me and Dad are moving to a different farm. The farm where we keep stuff most of the time. He's out of fuel and it's supposed to rain tonight. Looks like it's going to hit. So uh, we're going to run a couple loads of corn over there tonight. So that's the plan for now. But we got to get fuel first. See you, George. That doesn't look very promising. Ah, looky there. Here comes the dinner wagon. Hey guys, uh, we're still in the process of moving everything. We've still got uh, one more trip to make up for some trucks, but it looks like by the time we get everything moved over here and fuel up the tractor and combine, it's probably gonna be eight or 8.30, so I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. Um, it's still a little wet where we're at now, a little wetter than the other place we just left. So. It does appear that this rain is going to miss us now and that uh, it looks like it's going to go north of us, at least that's what we're hoping. So if that's the case, we'll probably be over here tomorrow and uh, back to shelling some corn again. Hey guys, everything has moved over to the other farm and we are ready to shell corn first thing in the morning. But as soon as I flip the camera on to start recording this, it started here and it's sprinkling on the roof. So I don't know, it's not raining yet, just a couple of drops every now and again. So we'll just have to wait till morning to see what uh, what tonight brings. But uh, thanks for watching. Follow us uh, on Instagram at Brian's Outdoor Videos or like us on Facebook at Brown Farms and we'll see you on the next video.